Hello, Brain Warriors. So we've been talking a lot about this uh, resolution I have, and I'm sharing it with you, is um, the new me. So rather than New Year's resolution, I'm doing a new me resolution. Hopefully you can see me, I'm outside. It's just like way too pretty to be inside. Um, so anyways, um, we've been talking a lot about products and food and exercise, but I wanna focus on something else today. So my husband and I often talk about wellness happens in four circles, right? Healing happens in four circles. You've got your biology, your psychology, your social circle, and your spiritual circle. Well, today I was in church and whether or not, whatever your religion is, or if you're not religious, I think this philosophy will be helpful to a lot of people. Um, so stick with me. Um, so we're gonna focus on the spiritual circle today. And I was in church and I found myself, and I found myself getting really annoyed. So, which is not a good way to be in church, right? <laughs> so, and I'm like, why am I getting so annoyed? And so it showed me that I had work to do in one area and well, probably in many areas, but that one today, I wanna to share with you because I'm wondering how many of you have the same problems or the same challenge. Um, so the message was on bullying and forgiveness. And my husband and I actually did a series of podcasts on forgiveness and they're really powerful. They're really good if you haven't. If you need that, go to Brain Warriors Way and look up our forgiveness podcast. And they were really powerful. But today, um, I noticed myself getting irritated when the minister started talking about when people bully you or are mean to you, how should you respond? And the number one thing he said was don't retaliate. And I'm like, wait, what? <laughs> no. Like, you know, I always think of myself as being like, oh, I can forgive people. But it, you know, I, th at that moment it hit me. Yeah, that's, that's not necessarily always true. It depends on what it is. So when it comes to threatening or hurting my family, my daughter, my two nieces, I'm not very forgiving. And I, I started to realize, I think that has to do with my own childhood, my own past. I'm like hyper vigilantly protective at this stage in my life because of what I went through as a kid. I think when you've had chronic trauma or chaos in your life, um, those of you who've experienced that, I think people go one of two ways. They tend to go towards the victim end of the continuum or they go to the extreme like other end and I went to the extreme other end of being a warrior and being very protective and so the thought of someone just the thought of someone hurting my daughter or my nieces really makes me want to peel their skin off so just to just to put it out there and be honest right and um when I had that thought in church I thought oh that's probably not a very spiritual thought it's not a very kind and loving thought for sure and then he said something that clicked and it, and it really made sense to me. He said, you can't get ahead when you're trying to get even. And I was like, oh wow, that's powerful. You can't get ahead when you're trying to get even. Forgiveness makes you superior. And I was like, wow, that is so true. When you retaliate with like-minded like type of um, actions when someone hurts you, you're really on the same level they are. And I don't want to be on that level, right? So that really hit me. So it showed me that I have work to do. And I think we're all very busy on social media, making our lives look super perfect. And it's good to be grateful for what you have. I love that. Um, but I also think it's really important to use social media to help elevate others by being honest. And so this is my attempt at being honest. We are very into honest thinking rather than, or accurate thinking, rather than positive thinking, because positive thinking says there's no weeds in my garden, there's no weeds in my garden, and you don't do any work, but you go outside and there's still weeds in the garden. Well, hello, of course. Whereas accurate thinking is there are weeds in my garden, how do I get rid of them? So what what is the work I need to do? So this is why I'm sharing this. It's like, yeah, that was a weed in my garden and I don't really like it. So it's probably not gonna be, it's probably gonna be a persistent weed that I have to constantly work on because it's deep rooted. Um, and I just thought that I would share that with you because I think it's really important that we elevate each other. And if this is helpful to you, share it with someone else or give me your feedback. What's the thing that you struggle with? What is your negative thought or your negative behavior that you struggle with? And we can elevate each other by not always being so perfect. Hopefully this was helpful. Make sure you subscribe, um, tag someone if it was helpful to you at all and share. Thank you.